I think that the FAA was too slow by about 24 hours. On Monday, the CEO of uh, Ethiopian Airlines said flat out the pilot had flight control issues. At that point, I believe the FAA should have acted. It would have been about in the middle of the, the pack, so to speak, at that stage. Uh, instead, they waited until yesterday when they said they got definitive new data from another vendor. Um, I think they, they could have done this on uh, uh, Tuesday, or I think it was Tuesday when the Ethiopian CEO made his statement. I think that the impact on the customers is, is actually going to be fairly minimal. Um, you look at the fleet sizes that United American and Southwest have, and they'll be able to re-accommodate the uh, customers without too much trouble. Initially, there were some flight cancellations just because of the timing, but the the airlines will be able to reaccommodate. There will be some inconvenience to customers, but in the scheme of things, it's not going to be very much. Boeing has taken a real hit in the public relations image. Uh, uh, to be fair to Boeing, there are just certain things that it cannot say during an active aircraft investigation. But when it comes out and says, we believe the airplane is safe, they need to tell you why they believe the airplane is safe, and they didn't convey that message. They just say the airplane is safe without so to speak, showing their math.